So in this problem, what we're told to do is we're going to be making a 0.4 microfarad capacitor. We're basically trying to find the area that the plates have to be if they're going to be separated by a 2.8 millimeter air gap. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to need to know this equation right here. And so basically what this equation tells us is that the capacitance is going to be equal to the dielectric constant K multiplied by epsilon naught, which basically this is just the constant value, uh, value and you can see it right here. And so uh, this is just the permittivity of free space. That's just the value you're going to have to memorize. And then it's going to be multiplied by the area of the plates divided by the distance between them. And so the way I start these problems is you always want to write down the given. So what values are we told? So they tell us in the problem that we're given a capacitor of 0.4 microfarads. So let's go ahead and write that down, 0.4 microfarads. And then we're told that the air gap or the distance between them, D in this equation, is equal to 2.8 millimeters. So I'm going to write D equals 2.8 millimeters. And so, right, keep in mind what we're solving for. We're solving for A, which is the area, right, the area of the plates. We have D. We have epsilon naught, right, the permittivity of free, uh, free space, which is just a constant. We have C. And then keep in mind, what is K? So K is the dielectric constant, which is different depending on the materials that, or the, depending on the material that is between uh, the two plates. So in this case, they tell us we have an air gap. And so whenever you uh, are told it's an air gap, you're going to know K equals one. And so, uh, yeah, it's different depending on the material, but for air, it's just one. So you honestly don't have to worry about it since it's just one. Uh, but yeah, so in order to solve for A, what we're going to want to do is just manipulate the equation to get it in terms of A. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross this out since it's just one. It doesn't have any impact. So divide by epsilon naught and then multiply by D. So A or the area of the plates is equal to uh, C multiplied by uh, the distance divided by epsilon naught. And so keep in mind, we want everything in standard units. So this capacitance is going to be equal to 0.4 and then it's microfarads. We want it in farads. So 0.4 times 10 to the minus six because it's micro. The distance uh, we want in meters because keep in mind the constant is written in meters. It's farads per meter. So 2.8 millimeters is equal to 2.8 times 10 to the minus three meters. So you're gonna plug that in right here, 2.8 times 10 to the minus three, and then divide by epsilon naught. So just write this constant here, it's 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. So 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And so all the units are gonna cancel, and so what you're gonna to wanna to do now is just plug it in your calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna have 0.4 times 10 to the minus six, multiply by 2.8, times 10 to the minus three, and then go ahead and divide by 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And so yeah, you're gonna get A equals 126.55, uh, and so on, five, five, three, six, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna round to uh, 127. So 127, and then keep in mind we're dealing with area, and we're using meters in the equation, so this is going to be meters squared. So you can round however your teacher wants you to, but essentially you're going to get the area of the plates. In order to make a capacitor with uh, these specific requirements that they gave us, it's going to have to be 127 meters squared. That's going to be the area. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be the answer to the problem, and hopefully you found this useful.